Hello, hi, it's Lord of Bubble here again, and I'm with my mate Max, and we're going to show you how to wash a car properly. Uh, this is basically going to be better than uh, how you get it washed five pounds from a person, from a group of people, because well, the difference is, is you're taking your time, you know that you're going to do it carefully because it's your car and not just anyone else's. So first of all, you want to start off with a, a wheel cleaner, and um, my brand is a Muckoff Wheel Cleaner, and all the products I'm going to be using today on my 06 Lexus is going to be from Muckoff. And what it is, is when you use all the products together from one range, it, um, it just they will work in a good combination so you just want to start off by spraying each wheel and just completely soak each wheel and you can see it's working because it immediately as I spray it it uh, takes all the dirt off so we've let it sit for a bit now uh, just do it according to the rating that they give you and um, if it's really baked on agitate it with a, a soft brush just one that's just soft enough so it doesn't scratch the paint If you really want to do a whole clean, you can uh, you can do uh, you can take the wheel off as well and do the insides of the wheel as well. Cause that's gonna right, so next part is using your shampoo. Follow the instructions. Um, this requires approximately 10 squirts in each bucket. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Now the reason for using two buckets is because when you use one mitt and you dip it in the clean water with a soap or wipe it on the car and then you dip that into the next bucket which releases all the dirt into the other bucket and then you put it into this one so you never put the dirt back on the car. That's a good tip. So it prevents scratching the car with, if there's any more stones, so I'm just fill up the bucket now. So now you got your two clean buckets. One you're gonna have to decide which one's gonna be your dirty one. So our clean one's gonna be this one, and our dirty one's gonna be that one. And you've got one sponge. So when you're doing the really dirty bits of the car, you don't want to use a nice clean uh, wash mitt. So that would be the silver. So. You want to work from the top down, so the top of the car is roof. Keep every couple of seconds, just keep going back to your dirty bucket and throwing it down. Just rinse it off, and then go back in your clean bucket. And work your way down. Alright, so now you put all the shampoo in the car, you have to get rid of all the sun. Now if this was, if the sun was directly on the car, even though it's a hot day today, and it would dry the suds off, uh, you just do the panels in sections, but we could do the whole car in one go, so... The trick is, and when you use the pressure washer, be careful to not uh, use the block, use the um, gun too close, because it will actually ruin your paint. This is a leather chamois cloth, and what it does is picks up all the water, and it's been coated with um, fish oils, like cards and stuff. 
and it absorbs all the water and it gives you a spot to finish and uh, you can get different types, you can get microfiber, genuine leather, you can get uh, just fake one uh, this, is, uh, this is just a, uh, just a fake one and it does the job though so the idea is again to work from top down so you're kind of pushing the water down so you have to ring, you have to ring the cloth out every now and then Okay, once it absorbs its limit, you need to rinse it out and then you can start doing it again. Alright, so as, as you can see there's these spots here on the cloth. Now these are the, this is the hard water effect from my area. So this is the water when it dries up, it leaves a mark. These are the natural minerals that occur in the piping in the water. So now if you try to dry those, sometimes they don't come off. Luckily that one did. Another simple, uh, just a way to get rid of them is just simply just by soaking it again. Alright, so now we've uh, basically dried most of the car now. And we're going to use tire stick to make the outside of the wheel look shiny. And from last week, it still remained on the car, so it's a good quality product. And we're just going to apply it again. Make sure it's just dried it all off with a cloth. Try not to use the tissue because they will, uh, the fibers will get on the um, wheel. And just spray it. You don't have to be very gentle with it, you just spray it anywhere. I'll just give it a bit of a wipe. So the next stage after drying your car is to clay bar it. And what clay bar is, is this stuff here. And it's kind of like uh, sandpaper, but it's not rough. And what it is, is it requires a lubricant. And when you f when you hear your car and it sounds a bit rough, and it's not feeling as smooth as glass, and the water doesn't bead off, what it is is the contaminants that, as you drive, they stick to your paint, and they don't come off with a normal uh, wash. So this removes it all. So what you do is you start by spraying your clay bar, and um, then start spraying the surface you're going to use and just basically rub it on there and just keep rubbing in just straight motions so after we clay barred this uh, the surface should be a lot smoother and uh, it should resemble a bit more like glass so if we do a, a test on what it sounds like on a, on this other side which I haven't done yet it, it's got a bit, of, a bit more friction to it which shouldn't be how the paint should be but however if I go to the clay barred piece it's a hell of a lot smooth and if I do spray a bit of lubricant on it, it just it moves by itself rather than if I spray it over here it's a bit more stagnant the first part of interior detailing is obviously the first part is going to be to hoover your car uh, most importantly take your feet mats out of the car give them a hoover and underneath those uh, if you want to, you, if you've got a carpet washer, you can carpet wash your cars and um, but the most real important thing is to use uh, silicon shine which is, most people don't like the shine so you don't have to get a shine, you can get a matte finish which leaves it uh, in a matte form but uh, what it does is it protects it, it gives it a layer of protection against your hands so when you see people hands on their steering wheels and you see it all um, faded and the paint has been lost that's due to people not protecting their steering wheels properly so what you have to do is because this stuff's quite um, smelly uh, it gets too much. what you want to do is uh, open all your windows so and then uh, start spraying and you will have to buff this off Try not to hit it on the glass, it will just streak the glass. Uh, and basically, just have a nice microfiber cloth and dedicate, try to dedicate a cloth to whatever you're thinking of doing. So, whether it be buffing off wax, applying wax if you don't have an orbital buffing machine, uh, and stuff like that, just dedicate a cloth to whatever you're doing. So, this cloth has been dedicated to doing dashboard chain. So you can do it almost anywhere, so if you do the centre console, gear stick, handbrake, 
try to do rotations on the circular objects to get the most use out of the spray. So you can do the radio. I like I like my things to be shiny on the cars, so it's my preference. You obviously may not like it. So all the leather, you just give it a good spray, change it into different gears, pull it down and just give it a wipe. And then you can do other things like this one. The centers. And the thing I like about this Muckoff silicon shine is um it's got a nice smell to it, not like a, one of the a cheap a cheap make. But it, it just it just has a really bad citrus smell which gets to your head very quick. And just mist it onto the dashboard because to get the dashboard very shiny is uh, quite hard and takes a lot of uh, dashboard shine. So just mist it on, just give it a wipe. It's also anti-static so it uh, will help to stop dust settling on your, uh, on your dashboard. Because we've now, uh, basically we've removed the wax effectively with the uh, uh, clay bar. Now, because we've removed the contaminants, we've also removed the wax. Now uh, we need to reapply that protection. Uh, the, the premium wax that should be on this car is in the post. But this is the wax I'd use on uh, generally on other cars. It's very good wax, Turtle Wax, Harcher, Carnuba wax. And uh, what I have here in my hand is a uh, orbital buffer. Uh, this is an interchangeable foam pad, so I also do compounding with this. Say you get scratches on the car, you use the right sort of compounds and the right combination, you can effectively remove scratches off the car. But we're just going to apply wax onto this. Now, never apply wax when your car is uh, hot, because what happens is when your wax dries, it dries to a, it dries to a haze. Now, when that haze becomes um, becomes too hot it will burn into your paint and there's no way of removing that so just kind of spread it about don't let it because what happens is if you uh, run this machine with all these blobs and it rotates very fast it will actually fly everywhere so spread it evenly enough wipe it on your car and you want to make sure your thing has a slow start so It's quite messy, it's quite messy, so um, you just need to do it properly. Alright, so now we've uh, got the end result. After first uh, washing the car with the shampoo, uh, doing the bug and tar removal, spraying the wheels, uh, clay barring and waxing, this is what we have achieved. We have achieved uh, a near enough glass finish, which basically means that any rainwater or any uh, liquid that hits this car should actually just bead off. And it, it has achieved its glass finish, as I can prove. Just if you bring the camera closer to my hand, you should hear there is no sound. It is, it has, it is truly a glass finish. Um, we just gotta have a whip around the car. Inspect it. Um, it is complete. So this is a, a a proper car wash, and the only way you will achieve something like this car wash is uh, if you do it yourself. So that's Lord of all, and uh, thanks for watching.